When you do central vascular axis, it is convenient to line up the numbers on the syringe with the bevel, so you always know which way the bevel is open. You also want to crack the syringe before you use it so it doesn't have that stickiness that happens. In addition, because during vascular axis you essentially want to draw blood from a vessel, this will influence the way you hold the syringe. You want to hold the syringe in a way that you are able to put traction on the plunger. In order to do this, you should orient your fingers to be around the plunger so you can simultaneously advance the needle while holding gentle traction on the syringe's plunger. You can do this with your hand underneath, on the top, or even on the side. In this demonstration, the ultrasound beam reflects the ultrasound image. What we are trying to show is that the brightness of the needle changes as you become less and less perpendicular to the probe. The needle is pretty much not seen at about 45 degrees because as you get more parallel with the needle, it disappears. This is due to the ultrasound beam reflecting forward. The main idea here is that the more perpendicular the ultrasound beam is to the needle, the easier it is to see. Here we are looking at both the vessel and the needle in the short axis. If you orient the probe this way, the needle and the vessel are parallel, so it would be in plane for the vessel and long axis or in plane for the needle. Here you can see why it is much easier to see the needle, rather than here where the needle has to be precisely aligned with the center of the probe. To reiterate, this is the long axis and in plane view. And this is the short axis and out of plane view. For the oblique view, you are crosswise to the blood vessels, but in plane or long axis with the needle. In a clinical setting, you will prepare a sterile transducer by placing the unsterile ultrasound transducer inside of a sterile sheath with ultrasound gel. Then, wrap a rubber band around the sheath transducer to avoid transducer movement inside the sheath during ultrasound scanning. Next, apply sterile ultrasound jelly to the intended puncture site on the patient to facilitate the transmission of the ultrasound energy from the transducer to the target vessel. When you hold the ultrasound probe, it is easier if you drape the cord over your hand rather than having the cord this way. If we take a closer look at the ultrasound image, you can see that there are depth marks on the right side of the image. The depth of needle marks on the image mimic the depth marks on the actual needle. Once you place the probe on the simulator, you will see the ultrasound image pop up on the computer screen. Notice that the orientation marker is in the top left corner of the ultrasound image. This orientation marker corresponds to the orientation marker on the ultrasound probe. Sliding the ultrasound probe to the left and right is helpful in making sure that you have your left and right sides properly oriented. The vein is a useful landmark when you are checking for the proper orientation. It is important to check for proper orientation because if your ultrasound probe is turned 180 degrees, your image would be backwards.